For more information on tutoring or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, please visit MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. So the first three quantum numbers that we talked about were N, L, and M sub L. And of course, describing the energy, L describing the shape, and the M sub L describing the orientation. Of what, though? Those are all properties that describe an orbital, an atomic orbital, where we say that electrons can be located. Okay. The fourth quantum number is electron spin. So it's not a property of or an orbital. It describes an actual electron. It's denoted as M sub S. That's what electron spin is denoted, denoted as. And basically, the idea here is that these electrons have, um, they create little tiny magnetic fields. Okay. And so we, we kind of represent that pictorially like this. And they can spin in opposite directions like this, okay, forming magnetic fields. So there's only two possible values of this magnetic spin. We can have positive one half, which is represented as an arrow pointing up, and negative one half, which is represented by an arrow pointing down. Right? Kind of showing kind of like what this is representing here, right? That an electron spinning in a certain direction has a certain spin. An electron spinning in the opposite direction has the opposite spin. Okay? So these guys have opposite or opposing spins. So this fourth quantum number, since it's dealing with the electron, not with the orbital, it's not part of the quantum number hierarchy like the first three numbers. Okay. So now an orbital, we mentioned this a little bit before, um, is, can be represented by a line or a box or a circle uh, that can be filled by electrons, or filled with electrons. So the maximum occupancy for an orbital is two electrons, and they, if they're, um, if this is one orbital here, and it, it, it can have two electrons in it represented by these arrows. So one would be spinning upwards, and one is spinning downwards. Okay. So okay, whatever, cool. What does this mean? Well, now that we've d talked about all four of the quantum numbers, we can assign what's sort of often called the home address or a set of quantum numbers for an electron. So we could basically assign and kind of say where an electron is in terms of these quantum numbers. Okay. So if we're thinking about an electron in the 1s orbital, so this is a 1s orbital here, it can have two electrons in it. If we have, if we have one electron with the quantum numbers n equals 1, l equals 0, so that's where the 1s comes from, m sub l has to equal 0, m sub s can be plus one half, which would be represented by this up arrow. So this, this is the home address, or the set of quantum numbers that describes that particular electron, the pink one. Okay. We could have another one in blue. This home address, which has all the numbers the same except m sub s is negative one half, that describes, that's the home address for this electron. Which brings me to the Pauli exclusion principle, which basically says that no two electrons can have the same set of quantum numbers. Because if they're in the same orbital, they must have opposite spins. You can't have an orbital that has two electrons and one goes up and the other goes up, that's not possible. You also can't have them both going down. If they're going to be in the orbital, they have to have one going up and one going down. Okay? So that's Pauli exclusion principle. So basically no two electrons can have the same address. They both can't live in the same home. Kind of if you think about it like that. Okay? So that's the Pauli exclusion principle um, and how it relates to the fourth quantum number, electron spin. Hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you, and happy studying.